Hello class, this is the second part of the primate lecture. In this lecture, we will discuss old world monkeys, apes, and primate behavior. Old world monkeys live in Africa, Asia, and Southern Europe. They live on the ground or in trees. They live in diverse habitats. They live in deserts, grasslands, tropical rainforests. Not all old world monkeys have tails. Most of them do have tails. None of them have prehensile tails like the new world monkeys, and some have no tails at all. The nostrils of old world monkeys are together and point down. Here's an example of two old world monkeys. On the left is the celibate crested macaque. On the right is the wolf's mona monkey. Please note the nostrils together, pointing down. Old world monkeys live in diverse environments throughout Africa, India, Asia, Southeast Asia, and even up north into the colder regions of Japan. To the right is a snow monkey, which comes from Japan. They live in a very cold environment. Again, many old world monkeys have tails, some do not have tails. Now let's look at the apes. There's two types of apes, the Asian apes and the African apes. The Asian apes are orangutans and gibbons and siamangs. The African apes are gorilla, chimpanzee, bonobos, and humans. Orangutans live in Borneo and are primarily arboreal. They use all four limbs to kind of walk and climb through the forest. This is a baby orangutan. Here is a map of the habitat of the orangutan. Note the sexual dimorphism between male and female orangutans. Sexual dimorphism means different shapes and sizes of the males and females of the same species. The male orangutan on the left is much bigger than the female orangutan on the right. Gibbons do not have much size difference between males and females, um, or they have no sexual dimorphism. They do have different coloring. I have a map of where gibbons live. They live throughout Southeast Asia. Gibbons are experts at brachiation. It is a form of locomotion where you swing by the arms from hold to hold. You may have done this as a child on the monkey bars. The largest primate and the largest ape is the gorilla. They live in the forest of Africa. They live in troops of one adult male, several females, and their offspring. This is a silverback male gorilla. He makes many of the decisions for the group. Gorillas are knuckle walkers. They walk on the soles of their feet and the knuckles of their hands. They can also climb trees, but spend most of their time on the ground. Chimpanzees are one of our closest relatives. We share 98% of our DNA with chimpanzee. They also live in the forests of Africa. They have a dominance hierarchy, a ranking system where high ranking individuals have greater access to resources like food and mates. Males can have higher dominance than females. Chimpanzees use many tools. This chimp is using a spear to hunt. Chimps also modify sticks, stones, and other objects to help them get food and water. Bonobos are another close relative to humans. We also share 98% of our DNA with the bonobos. They live in the forests of Africa and look similar to chimpanzees. Compare the bonobo on the left with the chimpanzee on the right. In bonobo society, females are dominant and the group resolves most differences with sex. When you watch the YouTube for this class, you'll see that bonobos also walk bipedally on two legs. Now we're going to discuss primate behavior. Remember you have a reading, a chapter to read on primate behavior and several of the YouTubes required for this section are also on primate behavior. So we're going to only discuss a few topics. 
Um, primates are social. I think it is one of the most important characteristics of primates. Um, primates need each other. Um, we learn from one another. We have friends. Primates communicate with one another, care and protect one another. They also compete with one another and fight with one another. Primates have strong mother-child bonds and often have strong family bonds. Dominance is an individual's ability to hold rank in a society. Rank can determine your access to resources. This can change according to one's age, health, family relations, friendships, body size, and personality. Other types of social behavior that are important in primates is play. Um, play is important to learn how to interact with other. It's also a way for primates to learn and to practice things, and it's good exercise. Now, many primates perform what we call grooming, where you will get your friend and you will slowly go through the hair's uh, looking for dirt, parasites, and insects, and you will clean their fur. Primates enjoy this immensely. It's a great way to create social bonds and strengthen social bonds.